Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 11.3, 14th question. This is from Perry Meeton, AI chapter of class 7. The question is, a circular flower garden has an area of 314 meters square. A sprinkler at the center of the garden can cover an area that has a radius of 12 meter. Will the sprinkler water the entire garden? Take by value as 3.14. What they have given here is, they have given a garden which is in a shape of circle and they have also given that area of the circle is 314 meters square. Okay, And there is a sprinkler at the center of the garden and it is like sprinkling the water. And um, what is the what they have given is, they have given the radius, like how much area it is covering. Since sprinkler also rotate in a shape of a circle, the area covered by the sprinkler will also be a circular shape. And the radius is 12 meter. Now question here is, will the sprinkler is covering that entire flower garden or not? So there are two ways of finding it. One you can do here is, now since they have given the area of this uh, circular garden which is 314 using this area we're going to find out the radius r okay how we're going to find out so 314 is the area and area formula is pi r square so using this equation we can find out the r value okay and then you and you can compare if r is less than or greater than that if the r is uh, like the radius what we have got of the circular garden is uh, less than the area of the sprinkler it means yes it is covering okay it, it could be equal it could be more uh, it could be less than that that is one way of doing it other way which I feel more comfortable is you can find out the area of this uh, water sprinkler how much area it is covering you can find out that and you can see if the area is greater or less or equal I hope it's clear. Let me explain once again. We have a garden which is in the shape of a circle. There is a sprinkler at the center. Now it is watering the uh, watering the garden. We don't know how much it is watering, how much area it is watering. It could be less, it could be this much, it could be more that is outside the flower garden. It could be anything. How are we going to find out? We are going to find out the area how much sprinkler is covering. Since we know the radius, r we know, we can simply find out the area using the formula pi r square. And then let's check if it is covering or not by just comparing the number. This is second way. I feel this is much easier because the first win where you have to check the radius, you have to take the square root of the number. I don't know if you have learned the square root yet. So that's why I'm going for the second method. So here is a solution. So they have given the radius as 12 meter all right and we have to find out the area so area covered by sprinkler is equal to the formula is pi r square let's substitute the value pi value is 314 multiplied by radius is 12 so 12 square so 3.14 multiplied by 12 square is 144 now once you multiply this two number we will get the value as 452.16 meter square this mean what does this mean is suppose the area of the flower bed which I am taking in a shape of a like circle which is in blue blue circle the area is 314 meters square now we have got the area 452.16 which is greater than the area of the circular garden means the area will be more like it is covering more area so obviously we can say that the sprinkler is sprinkler is covering the circular garden it is watering the entire circular garden because the area is more means it's covering the entire circular garden so from here we can conclude that yes sprinkler water the entire garden that's it I hope this is easy I hope you understood how I'm solving this question now in case you have any further question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching